Hey, this is Kurt from Go Make Music, and today I want to talk to you about Logic Pro keyboard shortcuts. Now, shortcuts are awesome because if you get them under your fingers, you can spend more time making music and less time mousing around. If you haven't already, go ahead and grab the PDF. It's a bunch of shortcuts all put together in Logic, and you can look at the keyboard and see what's going on, test it out for yourself. Lots of helpful and cool key commands in that PDF, and you can grab it by clicking the link below. But right now, I want to show you just five key commands that I use all the time, and I think you're going to dig. So let's get started. The first one is super cool. Basically, anything I select, I can create a cycle region around it by selecting the region and hitting Command U. So I can listen to this section. And then super quickly, I could go back over here and listen to this section. Or I could listen to this section. And so basically, anything I select, when I hit Command U, it creates a cycle region from it. And this is just great when you're like, I want to just focus in on a certain part of a song, loop that part of the song over and over, and kind of think of a new part or check and edit or whatever you want to do. So command U, set locators by selection. Super helpful. Number two is option and quotation marks or option and apostrophe. Now what this does is it creates a marker wherever your line is. So for example, this is the second chorus. So I can take this here or I can just click right here on the ruler. And then when I hit option, quotation, it makes a marker. I could make another marker right here. This is probably verse two. So option, quotation, or apostrophe. And now I have markers. I can click this button, and I can call this verse two, and I can call this chorus, chorus two. So again, a quick way to make markers on the fly without having to go in here, click this little plus sign button, you just pop it, pop it, boom, boom. And then you can go through and name them later, right? Super cool. All right, number three. This is converting loops to regions. So let's go inside here. We'll check out these guitars. And let's say I wanted to loop these guitars coming into this next section, right? I could grab them and make sure it looks like the little loop icon and then drag. Okay, so we know how to make a loop. But let's say I wanna go in here and edit part of this section. I could do this and then it kind of creates some of these as loops and some of these as real sections. That can get confusing to me. So what I do, if I'm looping something and I know I might edit things later, I just select the loop and I hit Control L. And so now I've just converted these loops into real regions that I can then either get rid of or I can edit and everything is good to go. So let me show you that one more time. You drag, make your loops, control L, now they're real regions. All right. Number four, bounce in place. Okay. This, I use this like a thousand times a day. Um, let's check out this Rhodes, right? So we're going to listen to this Rhodes, command U. Right now, this is a MIDI file. But let's say I want to do something weird to it, chop it up, reverse it, pitch it. A lot of those things, it's easier to do it to an audio file than to a MIDI file. So if I just hit Control B, this is going to bounce in place. So I'm going to call this Rhodes Sample. Rhodes Sample. All right. There we go. So it renders in place. And now we have our new audio version of the roads. So now I can do 
you know, I could do an edit to where I could fade things out like that. Or I could just reverse part of a sound. So let's say I want to reverse just this section. So now it's going to play a chord and then so that's sweet. You can't do that with MIDI. So bouncing MIDI regions into audio files so you can mangle them later, super helpful. Control B bounces things in place as audio files. All right. Last but not least, certainly not least, is just good old fashioned letter A. When I hit the letter A, it shows all of my automation lanes instantly. And, you know, I could go up here and I could hit this button and I could turn it off. But honestly, when you're in the thick of it, of writing automations for various parameters, or like I can show you some of my vocal automation stuff, just craziness, um, being able to just toggle that on and off really quickly without having to come up here every time you want to do something, it saves you one second. But one second times 10 things times three hours, all of a sudden you're spending way more time mousing around menus and looking for parameters and right clicking audio regions to do certain things. It's like, just learn some of these key commands and then all of a sudden you're going to be way faster on Logic, which lets you take your brain power and put it towards creating music. That's my goal for you. That's the reason I made this PDF. And again, go ahead and grab the PDF in the link below. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope this helps. Go ahead, you can like and comment and subscribe to get more tutorials and I also have a bunch of courses at www.gomakemusic.org. Talk to you later. Hope this helps. Until next time, go make music.